Hi everyone! So, today for Vlogtober Day 3, um, I am going to be doing a what's in my bag post. I'm, um, I'm trying to encourage autumn to start, so I'm going to go from my summer bag, uh, which I bought actually in the summer uh, in New York when we were on our big trip, um, and I'm going to be changing over to a slightly more autumnal bag, which is my uh, Cambridge satchel, uh, which I will show you at some point. So I thought I'd do a what's in my bag for my current bag and then I can show you how it looks when later in the, in the, ter in the, in the term, in the month. So, um, my bag, it's behind me, my bag at the moment and it's stuffed, is the Kate Spade, I think it's called the Cobble Hill. Um, I actually love this bag, I actually found out about it through Organised Jen, uh, who is one of my favourite YouTubers and I am going to actually do um, I can't remember who it was that, uh, I think it was Deborah who suggested that I should do a favourite YouTubers uh, vlog, which I think is a really good idea, so that's going to definitely be one of my 31 um, this month. But yeah, so Organi Organised Jen is, um, has probably the most followers of the person that, uh, of all the YouTubers that I watch, um, and she has three channels, of which I subscribe to all, um, and she, I think it's on her Busy Bee Buzz channel, I'll link it below if I can, if I remember. Um, she had the kind of mint turquoise version of this and I saw this when we were in Bloomingdale's uh, in New York and I saw this one and I went, oh, that's so pretty. Now it's proper leather, it's Kate Spade, Kate Spade, and Kate Spade, obviously for my planner friends, um, they're all a little bit mad on the Kate Spade. Wellesley, it's Wellesley, not Wellesley, um, uh, Wellesley uh, planners, and I think that's the zip around one. Anyway, um, the one thing that a lot of people say about the zip on the Wellesley is that it's brilliant, and it, she does, it, the, just the zip on this is brilliant as well. So, zips, good for Kate Spade. I really love this bag because you can shove a whole lot of stuff in it. It's Oh, it's quite heavy actually, which is bad for my shoulder. Now, there's several things I love about this bag. One, it has a shoulder strap, which when you want to use the kind of longer strap, which is detachable by the way, um, it kind of just goes to the back and it, you don't notice it at all. So when I'm put, kind of putting it cross body, um, I don't worry about this because it, it, it will just fall to the back really, really nicely. It's got three, zipped compartments, let's move the things away. So you've got the front zip. Now the zips are different, so the two that are kind of on the side are colour matched to the bag as close as possible, but then the interior zip, which kind of is hidden anyway, um, is gold. I, I'm i not a gold person. Um, I wear a lot of silver, platinum, white gold jewellery, um, but this is quite a kind of, it's, a, it's, it's not yellow, yellow, yellow gold, it's it's just nice. It's nice yellow gold. Anyway, um, this is obviously a very light coloured bag. It's um, I need to condition it before I put it away um, because it has got a few scuffs and scratches on it, particularly under the strap. Oh, you might be able to see that. There you go. Um, so I will. That's my very very quick review of the bag. It's brilliant. It shoves a lot of stuff in it. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful leather. It smells really good. Um, and it's just really well made. It's my first designer handbag which I really like. So, in, let's go with the front pocket. In the front pocket, I have keys. Um, so, the keys I carry, and I carry my house keys, which aren't on me at the moment because I've just come in the door. Um, isn't this lining gorgeous? It's like satin, it's beautiful. Anyway, um, and I have the keys to my mother's house, mainly because I don't go down to see my mum very often because she lives in Kent and I'm in Oxfordshire. Um, but when I do, I always forget to pack her keys. So I keep them permanently in my bag because they don't add very much weight. And then I have my work keys on a big gig, which is a brownie thing. Not brownie, it's a girl, girl guiding thing. Lanyard. So um, I can walk around the building with my keys open around my neck. I do jangle, but it's got my bike lock key because I'm in Oxford and therefore we ride bikes. My the fob that lets me into the building, the big key that lets me into the building, and then the key that opens every single lo other lock in the building. So that's really important that stays in there. And then my house keys stay in there as well. That's all that's in the front pocket because I don't really like having... Because you can already see an outline and I don't like having too much in there. So you can just see an outline. In the back pocket, I have my 
purse. I think that's it. Yeah, out of my purse. This is a Smith and Canova. Did I get that right? Yep, Smith and Canova navy blue leather wallet, which I got from John Lewis. Um, Kate, Kate. Oh, here we go. Kate B T P S. Kate, the perpetual student. Uh, she got a Smith and Canova. Um, like travel wallet thing, which she, I think she did a YouTube video about it a, a while back, um, which is the same size as the Majority Traveller's Notebook. Um, so that's how I kind of found out about the brand and I saw this in John Lewis. I just kind of popped in to basically just have a look because I love John Lewis. Um, and this, they had this in purple or in blue and I love navy blue, it's one of my favourite colours. It's the colour of my bridesmaids at my wedding. Um, it's just, it's just beautiful. And this is a really good wallet and that stays in the pocket at the back that is against me so I always carry it with the Kate Spade logo outwards like this so it means that the pocket that's got my wallet in it is against me and basically no one can get to it um particularly well if I'm if I'm wearing if, particularly if I'm wearing the crossbody strap people could get in you never know pickpockets are pretty good sometimes at what they do so having it there makes it extra secure okay so moving on to the big pocket. Um, in here there is a little zip pocket like you have in mo most bags and then two kind of mobile phone little slip pockets. Um, one of them I use for my phone and I have no idea where it is. My phone somewhere um, goes in one of them. And, oh there we go. There. Um, and then the other one holds my name badge for work. My business card holder. This I got from a friend who got it from um, China, I think. So that's my business cards, quick flash. And then I roll up my, uh, these are actually my husband's old Sennheiser um, headphones there. These over the ear ones, which I quite like actually. He's not a big, as big a fan of them as he was because they're not very good for running. But um, so they're those ones. Then in the main compartment, which is the big compartment, oh, in the little compartment, I keep my Kate Spade how to look after your bag thing, just in case. And I keep some cold medication. I've had a cold recently, so very important. Uh, so in the main bag, I have my, oh, let's grab stuff out in order. Right, so I have my Hibonichi, which has a post-it on the front of it. Um, very important. I, as you can see, I kind of slip things in it and all sorts of different things. So that's very important. It comes with me every day. Um, my sunglasses case. Uh, these are Maui Jims. I got these in America as well, duty free. Um, they're brilliant. I absolutely love Maui Jim um, sunglasses. Anyway, I like my big sunglasses, and they're really good. They're kind of a, a surfer. Um, I think the Hawaiian Maui, you'd think. Um, okay, then my pencil case. So this is the Neocrit Transformer pencil case, which I love still use, still holds about 12 things in it, which is exactly what I need. Um, my glasses, also Kate Spade. So I've just started recently using, um, wearing glasses, glasses for use with my computer. So um, there's those. I won't put them on. Hairbrush, very important. Um, my crocheting. So um, I have bought quite a lot of all of Kylie, Keely, Kylie? Someone tell me how to pronounce it. Um, bags when I was over in uh, America at Target because she, the only place where she does like really affordable stuff is for Target in America who don't post internationally. So I was like, we're going to Target. So I bought the set. Of, there's a set of three of these uh, ones. So there's this um, this pattern, and then there's like a black and white pattern. So you get three different sizes. This is the medium sized one of those. Um, that holds my current bus crocheting project. Did I? Yeah. Oh, did I actually put my, yes I did, with my beautiful purple hook. So that's my current bus crochet project. Um, for me it's better than sitting on my phone um, on the bus. Going, mm -hmm. um, I do listen to audiobooks, I've just started getting to audiobooks, um, so that's quite nice that I can listen to an audiobook on crochet. Um, means I'm quite relaxed at the start of the working day rather than kind of sitting on Facebook and all sorts of different things so it, it's working quite well actually. And then I have my uh, spare pair of tissue, pack of tissues, can never have too many tissues. And then the last, oh, yeah. 
I was doing a bit of a Mary Poppins there, wasn't I? Right, um, the last bit is my, and I got this from Organised Gen as well. This is my walking pharmacy. Another Orla Kylie um, bag from Target. I absolutely love the birds print on this one. Isn't this cute? And this, so um, Jen does has something called a walking pharmacy, which is not kind of just drugs and stuff. Um, it's stuff that you, ne you need on a daily basis to have in your bag, um, stuff that you need regularly, um, uh, so like lip balm and things like that, but also stuff that you might need when you're out and about and something goes wrong. So for example, so um, basically in here, I love these neon, they're so cool. Anyway, so th this lives, I'm gonna see, show you how it lives in my bag. It lives in my bag, kind of half open like that. And that means I can get the most um, access things really, really quickly. Most access for me is my cream. Um, this is just a plain, uh, one of those bottles that you fill up. Um, you buy empty and fill up, so this is from Boots. Um, for those of you who don't know and probably uh, may not have noticed is I have eczema, um, which is basically is a, a dry skin condition. Um, I've had it since I was a baby, um, but I have to have to have to keep emollient cream on me and it's the stuff that I get via prescription from the doctors. Um, normal things that you can buy in boots or in, in your local pharmacy just don't work for me. Nivea, I'm allergic to. Aveeno sits on my skin and doesn't do anything. There's all sorts of different things that I've tried um, that I, either my skin comes up really, really red. Um, so this is the stuff that um, I access quite a lot and I have to moisturise my face particularly a lot of times during the day. So that is the thing that's at the top. Um, then in here, I'll show you kind of the layout. This is in three parts. So you've got a mesh pocket here, a middle mesh pocket, have I dropped something? No, and then you've got little pockets on the side. So I'll start with this one. Um, so these in here, I've got blister plasters. You always need blister plasters when you're a girl and wear ballet flats because cheap ballet flat shoes rub the back of your heels. No, no, no means business. Lens cleaner for my glasses and also for my sunglasses. Um, another bag of tissues. Uh, so when I've just when I'm just carrying one pack of tissues, it goes in here because it's a nice shape. So that's that. Then on the other side, these are kind of the less frequently used things. Now, on, normally on here, I have a safety pin on that zip. Normally, I have a safety pin on that zip because you never know when you're going to need a safety pin. Um, so that's that. And then I have like extra cold medication, I've got a mini deodorant that I got on um, BA flight that we took over to San Francisco, um, nail file, um, some paracetamol, some aspirin, so, so painkillers, um, cotton buds just in case, you never know when you need cotton buds, uh, a mini sewing kit, um, some tweezers, uh, the little doobery flip thing that tightens up your um, glasses, that. Uh, plasters in different sizes. I think that's it in that one. Oh, and I do have some nail clippers as well. Very. Um, mainly because you know those little hangnails that you get? I get them all the time. So it's good to clip them off rather than biting them off because biting them off is bad. Anyway, in the middle is my kind of most frequently accessed bit. So, in the middle, at the moment, I have throat spray, antiseptic throat spray for my, um, getting over my cold, but have a bit of a sore throat. Two different types of lip balm. <laughs> this is for when my lips are really, really dried and cracked. This is just for normal use. Um, hand cream. Now, I love the Body Shop hand cream. I wish it didn't come in these tubes. They are the worst things ever. Get it sorted, Body Shop. Anyway, um, more aspirin. Oh, iron tablets. I um, had to take iron tablets for a little while. Um, Oh, that's not good. Hair clip, hair band. You never know when you're gonna need some hair clips. I have um, a mento um, for, you never know when you're gonna need fresh breath. Um, a mini mirror. Some germaline cream now. Oh, I had a bite a little while ago. I, actually, that doesn't need to live in here anymore. Um, so germaline cream is quite helpful actually, um, just, just to have, but it doesn't really need to be in there. Anyway, um, glass nail file. This is a really cheap one from um, Tiger, which is a quite a cheap kind of, like a pound, like a dollar store, um, but in the UK. And glass nail files are actually relatively, 
a, a better, no. If you're one of these people that kind of saws away at your nails, glass nail files are better for them because they won't kind of hurt as much as the normal emery boards. Um, and then in here, I basically just have a load of hair clips and hair bands. So, yeah. So that's that. <laughs> that's where all my hair bands are. I tend to um, just like, I put hair clips in my hair when I'm when it's up, uh, and then they annoy me, and I take them out and I put them in here, <laughs> um, which is why I've got about seven million. Oh well, there you go. Uh, so that's the walking pharmacy. I spent far too much time on that walking pharmacy. Anyway, so that is pretty much what's in my bag. It's now I'm going to turn you around. It's now all in a pile on my floor. But there you go. Um, so. If you've got any questions, if you want to know anything about any of the stuff that I've put on there, then then let me know. Um, it's pretty normal, I think, for a girl. Most of the stuff in there. Obviously not the crocheting and not the... Well, maybe not the Pobonichi or Pensacola. Well, for, for people that I... For me, that it's a, it's a necessary, but quite a lot of people don't have paper diaries, they use their phones. Um, they might not want a pencil case. Although we had a conversation on Facebook, uh, my friends and I, about um, whether it was weird that we had pencil cases. And I and so many people commented from my friendship group that I just went, it's definitely not weird. Yay! Um, so I, I feel slightly vindicated there. So my light is fading fast. It's about 6.30 at night. I am going to go and make dinner now for the boy. It's the weekend. It's Friday. Yay! <laughs> Um, which means I'll probably do a lot more in-depth videos over the next two days. Um, I might go for a walk with you this weekend around where I live. I need to go into town anyway, so I might as well take the camera with me. That might happen. Um, it might happen this weekend and then I'll put it on another day, you never know. Um, but we'll see. So, thanks very much for watching again, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye!